your video off and just. Oh, Courtney Wheeler's coming. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I'm texting her, making her. <laughs> oh, you're fabulous, Nancy. That's wonderful. <laughs> Very good. And then Julian Long, another writer. So we'll let them have a chance to, to join us then. All right. Um, my census, let's get started. My name is Malika Albrecht and welcome to what usually is our Thursday book launch. Uh, but tonight we have something really incredible. Um, high school buddy of mine, Leo Liddell, also known as King Leo, um, has agreed to come and play music. And this is, uh, if you're hearing my voice, you're recognizing that I don't sound like myself. I was trying to say that maybe I sound like Lauren Bacall, but I, I think I just sound sick. Um, but in any event, um, I do want to say a little bit about Leo. Um, hailing from Virginia, Norfolk, Virginia. He's the real deal, combining a love of boogie woogie, soul, mm -hmm. doo-wop, country, jazz, blues, and 50s rock and roll. Um, one night when I was scrolling uh, Facebook, I got to see uh, Leo and his son performing, and I was like, this is amazing. So I started routinely checking back for their weekend, uh, things that they would put together. And then I asked Leo, I said, this isn't normally what we do, but we would love to have music. And he agreed to come here. He is phoning in from New Zealand, and I am going to turn it over swiftly so we have as much time as possible to be with, with him. Thank you, Leo. You're welcome. I'm so glad to be here. It's fun. All the way from New Zealand, that's right. Um, I'm right outside Dunedin, New Zealand. People are in the mood to Google. Yeah. Uh, there's a Dunedin, Florida, apparently. Never been. It's the only other one I know of. So, uh, Malaki, do you want me to go ahead and start playing some tunes, or what's the deal? Yeah, Talk I say let's jump on. right into music. Um, okay. Also, Misha just joined us. So you have, we have four of our, hey, hey, Misha, high school buddies. <laughs> Leah's just getting started to so give perfect timing. As, yep. as, long as, the as long as the principal doesn't show up, he was scary. <laughs> He'd be pretty old now, though. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, I'll do one. I'll start with one called Sugar Coated Love. I like to say a little about the tunes. This is one. Uh, from Lazy Lester. I think Lazy Lester's still alive and up, retired up in Michigan fishing all the time. That's what I've heard anyway. But originally he played around uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yep, so Sugar Coated Love. You ought to see my baby You know that gal is so fine Love me every morning and every night Always on my mind, she got sugar coated love. Yeah, sugar coated love. Sugar real gone, baby. Don't mean maybe she mine. Well, she don't have to worry about money. She don't have to worry about clothes. Don't have to worry about anything. She baby, and goodness knows she got sugar coated love. Yeah, sugar coated love. She's a real gone baby. Don't mean maybe she mine. Don't mean 
baby, she's mine. Well, if you want to know what sugar-coated love is, it's the best love that we got. It's the kind of love that makes it all feel young. Makes a no pole hot and that sugar coated lum. Yeah, sugar coated lum. She's a real gone baby. Don't mean maybe she mine. <laughs> All right. That sugar coated lum. <laughs> uh, like I said, lazy lunch time. I guess I'll just do another one. It's sort of strange on Zoom, isn't it? Be quiet. It's very respectful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making an assumption there. It might not be. <laughs> but it is very quiet. That's all right. So I'll do, um, I'll do some of mine and some of other people's as because, you know, normally you're doing poetry, eh? <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> yes, that's, that's awesome. That's why I'll do some of other people's. <laughs> I want to hear yours. Then, then their writing can stand uh, stand up for there. No, that's all right. I'll do some mine, too. I'll do, one, I'll do a Muddy Waters one, then I'll do a couple of mine. Yes. All right. Um, so... Uh, what can I say about Muddy? Father of the blues, father of Chicago blues for sure. Um, yeah, he died back in uh, 1983. So it's been a while, I didn't, never got to song, see him live, but just amazing. If I had to pick a favorite, he's right up there near the top, one of them. This one's called Honeybee. Sail on, sail on, my honeybee, sail on. I don't mind your sailing, but but please don't sail too long. Roll it, roll it, roll it back. I give this over there for you. You missed it. He hit him. He missed him. Sail on. I'm sure I know what rifle man. Sail on, my honeybee. Sail on. If you keep on sailing, you got that. You got to lose your happy home. Go on 
all around the world making honey. But please come back home to me. All right, that's muddy for you. So, um, yeah, back in 2015, um, I put out an album called Revival. That was some original stuff. I think it's out on Spotify. So if anybody was to look up, there's a rapper in California uh, called who's King Leo as well. So <laughs> that would be a different experience. However, uh, if you look up King Leo and Revival, it'll come up on Spotify. And this is one of them off that one I wrote called It'll Be All Right. You probably heard that thing. Um, I don't know if it's apocryphal, if it's real, but there's a thing that apparently Mr. Rogers, the Mr. Rogers of television thing, apparently his mom once told him that when sort of dreadful things happen in catastrophes and you see it on nightly news or movies or TV, she said, look for the helpers. You know, so if you look around the fringes of the disaster, apparently, she said, look for the helpers, because when there's something hideous like that, there's always somebody trying to help out. And just that concept uh, had me thinking about, you know, doom, doom and gloom and how uh, maybe it's nice to lighten that up sometimes with the idea that people are, you know, somebody's out there trying to help. So this one's called It'll Be All Right. people say things are looking bad times are getting tough the worst we've ever had but maybe they're wrong maybe they're wrong maybe they're wrong It'll be all right. Buildings will fall and homes will burn down. But someone's heart opens and they come to help out. So if they say it's all bad, Maybe they're wrong. Maybe they're wrong. It'll be all right. If you watch the news, then you might lose faith. You might think that love will surrender to hate, but maybe they're wrong, maybe they're wrong, maybe they're wrong, and it'll be all right. Be 
all right. Maybe they're wrong. And it'll be all right. So that's a little bit positive, maybe. Funny thing about blues, really, if you want truly uh, despairing and dreadful and dismal, you got to look to country for that. Blues tends to be a little more, you know, cathartic, a little happier, a little like, let's try to, uh, you know, what do we say? Let's try to find something bright in having things be tough. Maybe something like that. That's my take on it. Yeah, so if you want to really feel grim, country, which I like that too, don't get me wrong. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'll do a couple more that I wrote because, you know, why not? Um, so I wrote this one for somebody special to me who is across the sea. And I'm it won't be very special homage to anybody if I have the wrong key of harmonica. So let's get that right. All right. This one's called Magic. Yeah, you're magic, but as real as warm sunshine. You take my soul up to heaven and make me poor heart feel so fine. Well, magic in your smile, magic in your eyes, magic in the way that you hypnotize your magic. But as real as warm sunshine, take my soul up to heaven. Make my poor heart feel so fine. The words that you say and the way you say them, the games we play and the way we play them, it's magic. But as real as warm sunshine, you take my soul up to heaven and make my poor heart feel so fine. Till I roll on the floor, make my troubles go right out the door because you're mad. And I feel that warm sunshine. Take my soul up to heaven and make my poor heart feel so fine. Yes, you're mad. Time. You're all right. Good. Now, if you want to pipe in and like ask me stuff, you're now. great on time. Keep going. I, I definitely we are having questions being written up. Keep track of them, Leo. But I'm great with you playing, and then uh, we can open it up and have more conversation if that works for you. 
course it does. We also, do. I did put a link in for everybody to Spotify to um, get to the album Revival, uh, which includes oh, the song It'll Be All Right. So uh, oh, it's in you. the um, chat section, guys. So keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will. And you, yeah, just pipe in anytime and ask me anything or whatever. So. But uh, let's see. Well, I think I'll take a heartbreak too, so I can kind of see and everything. Uh, famously, I don't, I don't know if it's that famously, but uh, legendarily, Little Walter is like my favorite blues harmonica player, and I'm not alone in that. Uh, so many find him their favorite. Anyway, Little Walter uh, apparently said he started singing just to give him a break from all the wind that playing so much harmonica took out of him. And when you hear him play, you can believe it, you know, clearly he's given it absolute heaps. But so uh, that one, I just did a magic. That one's gonna be on an EP I've got coming up pretty soon. And so is this next one, which is called Hammer and Anvil. And this is kind of also written for someone in mine, but it's kind of in a Muddy Waters style, but this is one of mine. Oh, uh, Noah. Let's go higher. I can do it. <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? I'm where the hammer meets the anvil, honey. Ground zero for the atom bomb. Sugar. Ground zero for the atom bomb. If I don't see your face or hear your voice, there ain't nothing going on. I see you in the morning, baby. By lunchtime, my heart is gone. See you in the morning, honey. By lunchtime, my heart is gone. If I don't see you by supper, sugar, there ain't no use, no use going on. Say, come to me, baby, and I'll be there, whatever stand between. Say, come to me, baby, and I'll be there, whatever stand between. love and sugar like nothing you ever seen i do want to jump in with a request leo um sure. some of the musicians want the camera to angle down just a little bit so they can watch you your fingers on the on the guitar <laughs> all right yeah Okay, their mileage may vary, but I'm happy to do it. Uh, 
Yeah, that'll probably get a little more. Okay. That that bit more like it. All right. A quick question. Um, huh. I have the link for the um, album revival, but the new EP, when when is it coming out and where would you suggest people look for it? Um, so I'm hoping it'll come out within a few weeks anyway, like okay. probably not more than a month because we're just tidying up the last bits. And so that Spotify account where Revival is, I'll have it, I'll have it loaded up there for sure. So that right. same artist page or whatever. I'm thinking about Bandcamp or another one, but um, okay. yeah, yeah, but definitely on that Spotify. So if they check back around, it'll get to, it, they'll be able to get to it. Yep. 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 And I'll put stuff out on, on the Facebook page and I've got the website. I haven't done much with the website in a while since, you know, Facebook sort of taken over a lot, but yeah, yeah hopefully I'll get it up there too, but definitely the King Leo Facebook page. Um, okay. I'll, be announcing where it's I'll put that link in the chat section as well. And um, <laughs> thank you. That way people can get to it. Thanks, Leo. Oh, you're most welcome. Um, yeah, I'd like to do um, one from Sonny Boy Williamson. So, um, yeah, I don't think I'm saying. So Sonny Boy Williamson was really cheeky. Like he gets called the Grand Vizier of the blues. And that's partly because in the uh, mid sixties, a bunch of blues artists went over to the UK and, and the rest of Europe as well. And they did the American Folk Blues Festival tours. You can see some of it on YouTube. Anyway, so Sonny Boy Williamson, when he got to the UK, he really adopted the whole thing. So he got a bowler hat and a cane and all that. And he just, he tried to rock that, that look and it was pretty cool. So he's got this, he's just really kind of cheeky, mischievous seeming fella. And his songs are like that too, um, very much so. And let's see, um, he's also cheeky because John Lee Williamson with this guy who was the first Sonny Boy Williamson, and he had a pretty successful career in like the 40s and 50s. And so it was so successful that this other cat, whose name is kind of mysterious, nobody knows exactly. It might be Rice Miller, it might be Alec Miller. Anyway, he's like, hey, I'm gonna just kind of steal this guy's fame. So he called himself Sonny Boy Williamson as well. And so all the blues nerds called him Sonny Boy One and Sonny Boy Two. And unfortunately for Sonny Boy One, uh, it kind of worked. And Sonny Boy 2 is far more well-known and got a lot more popular and famous. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? It wasn't the only time that happened blues. Um, Albert King uh, is a blues artist as well. Claimed to be B.B. King's cousin, he wasn't. He named his guitar Lucy and B.B. King's guitar was Lucille. So, you know, there's some piggybacking going on. I'm sure it still happens. <laughs> So anyway, here's one of Sonny Boy's kind of cheeky tunes called 99. And yeah. And it's one of the ones that his I quite like. <laughs> just about this time you asked me for one hundred dollars and i didn't have i didn't have but 99 She's so nice and kind. Yeah, man, I'm in love, I'm in love. Just because she's so nice and kind. I was so sorry when she asked me for one hundred dollars, and I didn't have but ninety nine. Well, my baby, 
July 29th. One I love, she taking sick boys on July 29th. Her doctor bill was $400 and I couldn't give her but $399. Cheeky, huh? <laughs> That's the way he rolls. A lot of his are really autobiographical too, just sort of songs where it starts off. I was walking down the street and I saw this person and I saw that person and crazy things happened. It's really fun. Always very first person. All right. Let's see. I keep talking about little Walter. I haven't done any of this. I think I will. Yeah, so uh, Marion Walter Jacobs. Kind of hard to imagine why a guy named Marion Jacobs would take a stage name in the blues, huh? <laughs> Little Walt is so much cooler. But you know, wasn't John Wayne also a Marion? So there's a precedent. Yeah, fair enough, huh? Anyway, uh, yeah, Little Walter was this real sort of prodigy. He's 19 lived 1930 to 68. And uh, if anybody's seen the movie Cadillac Records, they kind of depict his early demise as quite sad in a street fight. But uh, yeah, yeah, just amazing. Sort of like the Jimmy, Jimi Hendrix of harmonica did, did amazing stuff that no one had ever really done before with harmonica and changed the way everybody plays it, which is very, uh, you know, very Hendrixy in a way, redefined the way people played the instrument. Mm -hmm. So here's one of his, um, we'll see how it goes solo. It's nice to have a band with me, but I've only got my dog here and he's asleep. So mm -hmm. he's, he's of no help. Mm -hmm. Actually, he's a great help because he's not howling when I play the harmonica and he sometimes does. So whew, lucky that. Mm -hmm. So uh, little Walter was always talking about baby. So he's got an O oh baby, he's got, Trust my baby, he's got all baby. This one's all baby. A H apostrophe W. Thank you. 
saw some hands going over there. I appreciate it. Have a blast. Thank you, Leo. Sure. I think you might have cured my COVID. <laughs> Don't tell the conspiracy theorists. <laughs> They're always looking for another cure. <laughs> Don't encourage them. Although in this case, I'll take it. Um, what are we thinking? What are we thinking, Malika? Should we do a little more? Your questions? I say we do a little bit more. I'm watching. Uh, yeah, people are in different places, so I, I hope you can date to or some some point. You're going to be at Shakori Hills, and then uh, Susanna put something down for Terra Blues up in New York City when they reopen. Um, mm. So I say we play another one if you're if you're okay with that. Yeah, of course I am. Happy to. Just thinking if there anybody I haven't really um, covered too much besides uh, me. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a love song. So this is a one from the Fabulous Thunderbirds. Some of their, like, even though they're kind of a rock and blues band, and, and some of their stuff is quite straight ahead, right down the middle of blues. Also, some of their stuff is, um, yeah, it's kind of suited to just a person and an instrument. Yeah, this is one called Give Me All Your Love. Give me, give me all your love. Give me all your kissing and hugging. Let me know that you are mine. Thrill me, thrill me all the time. Baby, never do me wrong. We will always get along. We will live so happily. Baby, baby, just you and me. A piece of paper and a diamond ring. Baby, that don't mean a thing. A little love and tenderness. I'm the one you love the best. Hold me, baby, and squeeze me tight. Morning, noon, and at night. We will live so happily. Baby, baby, just you and me. Just you and me. Give me, give me all your love. Give me all your kissing and hugging. Let me know that you are mine. Thrill me, thrill me all the time. All right. Thank you for that. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to um, go ahead and uh, see if people have questions so that I don't miss something. 
Um, awesome. Hey, Nicole, I didn't notice you were here too. That's awesome. Susanna, did you have a question? Because I saw you posted something. Um, no, I just, I, I had thought, I mean, you're, there's a blues club in New York City that's just perfect for you. I mean, we used to go there all the time before they closed down, and I expect they'll reopen at some point, hopefully, and uh, love to see you there <laughs> in person. <laughs> It sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And then somebody did ask about the painting behind you, Leah, the one that you um, had gotten in, Col in Greeley, Colorado. Laura, I think it was you. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Yeah, that was me. I wanted to know who painted it. Yeah, it's a funny thing because I can't remember if the fellow put his, he didn't even really sign it. Like, um, <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was at a, there was a blues festival up in Colorado, kind of, I think Greeley's a bit north of um, Denver. I lived yeah, in quite Colorado a bit. For 10 years, yeah, yeah. And there was a blues fest there and a guy had a whole bunch of shutters, you know, from house shutters is what it right. is. And he's, he had different people, you know, he had different blues artists. And at the time, I still am on a big guitar slim kick, but I was then as well. Cool. And so, so fortunate that he had that one there. But I don't think he even signed him. Hmm. Wow, didn't even sign him. Yeah, just um, wanted to make a buck. I had I a guess. question about your process, just out of curiosity. Um, to me, music has always seemed a, a, another a mysterious aspect of things. Uh, even though with poetry, there's a musicality, obviously, in, in the words that we choose. But for you, what comes first? Is it is it sound or song or is it lyrics or does it kind of vary? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, for me, it's almost always lyrics. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, almost always. Um, once in a blue moon, there'll be a musical thing where I'll remember it. And nowadays, mostly it's the phone, you know, the voice memo. Because wherever I am, I just can pick it up, hit record, and hum into it, you know, or if I'm around an instrument, play into it a little bit. But mostly I do the same, I do that with lyrics and I do it the same way, you know. So I, I think of like a phrase or an idea. Okay. Usually I go more, sometimes a phrase, but usually the idea. So like the, what's the theme of the song or the, the yeah. point of it? Oh, like a song a very that expresses similar. this. Mm. Sorry, yeah. That's that surprised me. It's very that's very similar to like a lot of writers process. It's you know an idea or a phrase and coming back to it. I was curious. That's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sure. If people have questions, feel free to unmute or if you want to have a comment, if you have a comment for Leah. And and you can see me peering here because I'm I'm seeing a couple in the chat. So I just pick up. Yeah, I think I've gone through um most of the questions, but I'll double check that I haven't missed any, anybody. Yeah. Um, or any questions, yeah. Honest, I, am, I am in New Zealand now, but you know, there might well be a point. Well, my son, Oscar, who's now 23, and he's a musician and actually moving over to Australia in a couple of weeks to get even deeper into music. But he also wants to go in the States and um, you know, he was born in the States and he wants to do some playing there. So it's likely enough that I'll go there at some point and maybe do a little bit of playing with him anyway. Mm. For, for and that's good because uh, you said something about Shakori Hills. Uh, Shakori Hills is a great concert that these guys go to, or it's a three-day mm. festival. And they were like, he should come here to North Carolina outside of Raleigh. So you'll get well booked for sure. Um, and at, on your Facebook page would have any updates of things like that. So I did put that yeah. link in the yeah. chat section. If you're looking for it, just uh, make sure to click on it and like uh, the Facebook page so that you can keep in touch with Leo. Yeah. All right, well, there's no more questions. Yeah. I say we, we hear another song. Sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, what am I gonna do next? Um, I'm tempted to do something a little up tempo, a little energy, huh? Why not? Maybe something with a slightly early rock and roll influence, but 
all the blues guys had a few of these. There's a couple even that B.B. King did, you know, even before B.B. King in his later career, you know, he did lots of crossover stuff like albums with U2 and albums with Clapton and all these other people. But even even younger, you know, he'd do a few where he might not even play guitar. He'd just sing on the song and it'd be something a little more, a little more crossover-y. So this one's called I Believe I'm In Love. unmute and clap please feel free to i'm taking the spotlight off so we can give you a break but leo thank you so much for making my night that was amazing thank you oh you're so welcome eh? yeah <laughs> really fun um hey. hopefully people who wanted to see fingers could see fingers <laughs> oh they were very happy they were very happy and, uh, you know, I, I was remarking that, you know, the multitasking with harmonica and guitar, I just, to me, I know that my body would not be able to do that. I would not mm, be able mm. to. It's a weird Kyle, thing. you had a question about guitars. Yeah, I want to know how many guitars do you own? <laughs> um, well, I'm, I'm maybe atypical because I don't owe that, own that many, you know, like, uh, like well, lots of guitar players, as you'll know, own zillions. Probably, well, let me think, four, five, five-ish, somewhere in there, five or six. I don't know, maybe eight. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere in that, under That's ten. Like a under ten. Under Fewer 10. than ten. I swear. But you know, <laughs> but I'm not eighteen, so it's not like I, you know. I don't give a whole pile of them every year. I get one, it's a few years, yes, get one. Time. So if you live long enough, you accumulate if you don't dump them off. True. True story, true story. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> a lot of people are typing in so much fun tonight and had a really nice oh. time. And that's really, really great to see. I'll be sending the chat section to you so you can see oh, nice. uh, kind of some of the comments and stuff like that. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm trying to, t I'm trying to, I don't know why I'm trying to, since I'm talking, I was going to say, I'm trying to type thanks to everyone, but I'm saying thanks to everyone. Perfect. <laughs> Way easier. Yeah. Way easier. No, Very great, true. great to do it. I really appreciate being invited. I'm just so glad you were willing to, because this was something different for me. And Jesse, I wanted to connect you and um, Leo. Yeah, Jesse's a musician. I'm asking you to unmute. Are you in your studio, Jesse? Because I know behind you, a lot of times you have guitars, but you must, it doesn't look like you are. I can't see exactly where you are. Whoop. I have to unmute you. I think I'm muted by accident. Try again. I'm actually on the road. Uh, I have 13 guitars. <laughs> <laughs> 13. That awesome. That's a lucky. You're driving. And Jesse has a studio too. Yeah. I know it. Nice. Hmm. That's awesome. And I know uh, we have a couple other musicians here too. I think Julian is as well. Hmm. Glad you're here, guys. Well, Leo, thank you so much. You really um, just made for a perfect night. And it was also really good to see some high school buddies, <laughs> Misha and Nancy and hey. Courtney. It's, it's only so been pretty uh, amazing, right? a few years, just a few years. <laughs> it's way easier than going to a reunion. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and more fun. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say that. We could do this anytime. <laughs> Everybody bring their, uh, you know, their their uh, skills and creativity, and we can just round robin. <laughs> um, I'm hopped on a little late, but Leo, I was curious how you made your journey over to the New Zealand. Um, well, just um, heard about it. <clears throat> like, so it was my son was five, and it was sort of a good time to. He was finishing up where he was at kindy at kindergarten, you know, and so just. It was a wide open search for where we might want to go. Mm -hmm. And so we had friends who was here, mm -hmm. who were here, sorry, and uh, said good things about it. So we researched it and just took the plunge and ended up liking it. That's great. That's amazing. That's really fun. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, really fun. It just is just a beautiful place, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's great. I feel very, very <laughs> grateful to be in New Zealand. <laughs> good question well i want to double check that i've not missed any questions if i've missed a question that you have just unmute and ask it because uh it may take me a while and just a reminder again if you want to link into the spotify just hit the i'll actually repost that so everybody has it and with that <laughs> i will say y'all have a fabulous rest of your thursday Leo, again, thank you so much. Um, if you want to post or send me a, a link when the new EP drops, I will um, make sure I post it on this um, Facebook event page so that people will have another reminder to go oh, check it out. Great. Yeah, I'd love that. Thanks. Okay, my pleasure. Awesome. <laughs> thank you. Well, thanks, everyone. Yeah, we'll try to keep it down low that you cure uh, COVID. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, Hope you feel better. Really yeah, Thank you. Yeah, I feel, feel so I much feel better, better than I did. Good. You know, thanks to the vaccines, and uh, I'm grateful for that. And, and I can say that uh, my eldest had monoclonal treatment because she's high risk with asthma. And I would again recommend that if you can find it, because I think it made a big mm. difference in the, the turnaround. Everybody be safe, be well. Thank you for being such good company tonight. Thank, Thank you for organizing this. Yeah. And right. thanks, Malika. And thanks, Leah. Yep. Bye, yes. everybody. And thanks, everybody. Bye. Good to see you. Take Bye. care. Bye, guys. Awesome, Will. Thank you.